from the external surface, you can see no abnormalities. It looks like uh, the most significant that this for an individual who was only 27 at the time that he died, he had a uh, very advanced disease. And not only was it advanced microscopically, uh, especially in the frontal lobes, which are very important for uh, decision making, judgment, uh, and cognition. Uh, but we could see damage to the, to, the, to the inner chambers of the brain, the septum, and we have, this would be the first case we've ever seen of that kind of damage in such a young individual. We don't get as many specimens from this, from this uh, age group, uh, and in this age group, he's, he's clearly at the severe end of the spectrum. Uh, I think there is a concern that uh, we're seeing accelerated disease in young athletes, whether or not that's because they're playing more aggressively or if they're starting at younger ages, we don't know. Uh, but we are seeing uh, ravages of this disease, and certainly he's an example uh, in, in a young person. I can say that this is substantial damage that undoubtedly took years to develop. Uh, uh, this is not something that's developed acutely or in just in the last several years. I, I imagine he's, he's been, these changes have been evolving over maybe even as long as a decade.